Designing Instagram quotes using Canva is super easy to do, and it's also absolutely free. Once you're logged in, hover over templates in the top left-hand corner. From there, you'll see lots of different options, uh, but for today, we're gonna look at Instagram posts. If you click on Instagram post, you'll see lots of different options. There are many different templates here, um, and they cover things like different types of sales, occasions, that kind of thing. And there are lots of different styles, colors, lots of fonts being used. Uh, so many, many different templates to choose from. You don't have to have a design background to make quotes using Canva. Also, if you go to the top of the page, you can actually search for different types of posts. So we know that we want to do an Instagram quote. So I'm going to go ahead and search for Instagram quote in the top right hand corner. And from there, it kind of narrows the search down a little bit. So lots of different uh, templates to choose from here again. And I'm really just going for something really quite simple. So I like this text on a solid background. And because I like it, I'll go ahead and click on use this template. And from there, it brings you to a page where you can edit and modify the template. Uh, you'll see here on the left, there are more templates to choose from. So if you change your mind or if you want to look through some more, there are still some options there for you. And of course, the first thing you want to do with a quote that you're designing is uh, find a quote that you want to use, copy it and paste it right in. So I've just double clicked on the current quote and I'm going to copy and paste a quote that I found online. It's actually a Jay-Z quote, so I'll double click on the author down here at the bottom and type in Jay-Z. And I do like the style of this. I don't love the font. So if you click on the font that's currently being used at the top left, you'll see a long list of fonts on the left hand side. Many of these are free. The ones with the crowns are paid. So if you want to keep this completely free, obviously stick to the ones without the crowns. You can also do things like capitalize the entire text. And here we're just going to play around with the alignment. I do think that a center alignment makes sense for this design. You can also play with things such as line height and letter spacing. And you can also reposition it. So uh, whenever you're dragging an item around in Canva and you hit a hard line, it just means that you've centered the item. Whether that's horizontally, vertically, it just means that you've hit the center of the graphic. You can also scale an item. Uh, so here we're increasing and decreasing the size. One trick that I like uh, that also applies in Photoshop is if you hover over a corner and hold down the Alt key, you can resize the item, but keep it centered. You can also do things like select multiple items within a graphic. Also, if you'd like to change the background color, you can do so by clicking on the background. You'll see a color appear in the top left. If you click on that, you'll have different options to choose from. There are many different uh, default colors, but you can also click on the new color icon and choose a custom color from there. And if you'd like to use a background image instead of just a solid color, you can do so by clicking on photos in the left hand side. From there, you can actually search different uh, types of images, different categories. Once you see an image that you like, you can drag and drop it onto your quote. There are many different images to choose from, many free options, but paid as well. You can click on filter to edit the image and apply filters. There are several choices here. You can also reposition the background image by double clicking on it. And once you're happy with the position, just click done. I find it's a bit hard to read the text, so I'm just going to click on adjust and from there I will adjust the brightness and the contrast a bit. That way the font or the text will pop out a bit more. And once you're happy with your quote, you can go ahead and download it. You can do so by clicking on the download button in the top right corner. It will give you a few suggestions as far as file format. For an image like this, a PNG or JPEG is fine. So go ahead and click on download. And then simply save your file. 
So as you can see, it's pretty easy to do and doesn't take very long at all. And again, if you're not totally happy with it, you can search through the templates on the left-hand side again. Many paid options and free options, so the possibilities are endless.